So from the random graph, um, in order to first understand why um, the, the property of the preferential attachment in numerical sense, uh, we need to take a look at the distribution of the degree of the nodes. The, this, the degree of the node is the number of connections that that node have, right? For directed graph, you may, you, you may have the in-degree distribution and out-degree distribution. For undirected graph, uh, we think about the connection just to be just the connection. Right? So uh, the degree of the node uh, of the undirected graph will be the number of uh, neighbor that it has. And the distribution would look like down here for this graph. That is, uh, yeah, let me use this one, laser pointer. Right, like for A, A connect to, uh, actually, uh, it's actually, uh, the degree distribution here is the, um, has this value that the number of node, actually it's number of distribution, number of probability uh, over, of the, over the degree, uh, sorry, probably of the degree over the entire network. Like the chance that you will find the, the one connection, one connection, uh, one connection, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Actually, you have one. You have uh, this is number of node equal nine, and then there is one node that has one degree. That's why you have one over nine here, right? P one is one over nine. Uh, the the node that have two degree. Uh, there are four nodes that have two degree. Right? B, D, H, and I, right? And three node that have uh, one node that have three degree degree, which is C, and uh, one node that have oh no sorry. There are three nodes that have degree uh, of three. It's actually C, F, and A, right? And then uh, one node that have degree of four, uh, which is the G, right? This one. So here, degree distribution would explain uh, the distribution of the degree uh, from uh, the low connectivity to high connectivity, right? So let's uh, take a look at uh, what is the degree distribution of Erdos Renji. Okay, uh, I will switch again back to the, to here. Now let's take a look at the degree distribution of Erdos Renji. Uh, let's put it this way. I have N equal 100, P equals 0 0.1. This is the probability of being one. Now you, now you, you may have think of this as different thing. There are some distribution that uh, you have P as probability of being defect, P as probability of being shown, of being uh, purchased, of having yes. And then you have a number of trials, right? You are trying to find how many times this would happen. Right? What is that probability distribution? Start with B. I will leave it at that and then come back. Right? Start with B. Right? So now we have like 100, 100 nodes. But actually, if we think about the connection, it will be uh, 100 choose 2 connection. And each of that would have probability of 10% to select to, to have a value of 1. Okay. Uh, I, I will use this in two generate at Adolf Renji, uh, G, um, 100 and, and 0 0.1, just like earlier. And now I, I'm going to evaluate the degree of this distribution. And now you see this, right? This is the distribution of the degree, right? That you have the low degree, just about this, and then here, high value, and then here, low value, uh, just low value, right? So that means that this graph has a lot of nodes with degree about seven to 10. Right, seven to 10. Okay, what if, what if, what if I were to uh, increase or decrease the number of P, what would happen? Uh, if I decrease number of P to 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.01. Then I got this graph, right? That 
most of the occurrence struck at zero, that means most of the node do not connect with auto node. Do not connect with auto nodes, right? But if I uh, put this to uh, 1,000, and plot distribution, it looks like almost normal distribution. What types of distribution that behave like this? Anyone know? Does anyone know? Any, does anyone raise your hand here? Let me check. No, no one raised your hand. <laughs> anyone know this? Please click yes. Ah, I see one person click yes. Although he clicked at this and then did not remove it since the start. <laughs> right. Now he removed this. Okay, my advice actually. Uh, right. <laughs> Come on, the chat. Where is the chat? I cannot find the chat. Okay, uh, it's actually the chi-square distribution, right? And the chi-square distribution can be approximated by the binomial distribution. When you think about this erdos Rendy graph, it's actually behaved like, like binomial distribution. That is, you have another, a number of trials, and in each trial, you can be success or fail, right? Just like toy costing and then you want to count the number of uh, head turning up, right? So, so that's the same thing. Um, uh, when you have a large number, uh, large number of N and small number of P, binomial, uh, actually I should say the other way around actually, um, you can approximate chi-square, chi-square distribution with binomial distribution. Right. It's actually, it's look like binomial distribution, but because uh, you, you did not just try in time, there is actually, uh, you can actually like change P to be lower. You can, you can see that when this become lower, uh, like uh, you have this equal to 100 and 0.01. Um, when this n time P is uh, less than one, when n time p is less than one, like 0 0.001, you have a graph that looks like this one. Uh, okay, maybe I can show you more. F graph, look at this one, like exponential, right? But uh, when you have uh, n time p equal one, right? Say 100 and 0 0.1, and then the graph look like this one. Again, uh, this is not one, this is 10, 0 0.01. All right, it looks like this one, right? Now it, it kind of uh, shifting from become exponential to this a bit. And once you have n time p more than, uh, more than one, it now become closer to normal distribution. There's one distribution that behave this way, it is it's actually the chi-square distribution, right? Let me change back to, the, to this, right? Uh, okay, so does Adolf Renji, uh, is this Adolf Renji realistic in terms of explaining the behavior of the preferential attachment, right? Um, when you took, take a look at the uh, degree distribution, you can see that the probability of degree distribution can be explained by this n choose k and the probability of um, p turning in. Uh, n choose k is like combination, right? The combination of the total, um, or the total combination that can occur in terms of the edge picking. And uh, this is the probability of um, success uh, k time and unsuccess um, n minus one minus k time, right? So we have this, pop, this much of probability. Um, the degree of distribution, this looks like, uh, like this. Right? It looks like when n uh, approach infinity, np would approach a constant. That means when you have a large n, then you have np approximately a constant. 
and the value here that you have in terms of the probability would approach a chi-square distribution. That's why when we adjust the parameters, it looks like chi-square distribution this way. That is, if you have the shape parameters equal one, equal very really low value, then you have a bit like this exponential. When you have NP increase a bit, then uh, you have you have the shape that's look like this one, like log normal. Once you have NP having n time p that have uh, about 20, 10, 20 is value about that, more than one, then uh, you, you would have the, uh, the, the distribution that looks like this one. So this is actually the poor song, uh, poor song distribution. Now the, the, the question would turn to be whether this degree distribution resemble what happens in reality. Turns out, Right, binomial to Poisson. Right, and mechanism of the binomial, just like I explained, that NP less than one, then have no connect, mostly no connected component. NP equal one, uh, you would have the, a lot of largest connected component occurring at about this number. Um, if NP is constant more than one, then you have a single giant component, just like this example. This example is that you have about 10. Right, you have like mostly connected at 10. Right? But does this reflect reality that, that often happens? 